As we begin the finance unit, I want to draw special attention to the words in this box right here. We're going to be using calculators a lot and doing some very complicated um, calculations, and there is no rounding until you get to the very end. Um, little bits of rounding at little bits of a time can make hundreds of dollars worth of difference as your end result. So no rounding until you get to the very end. Okay, so let's begin with some basic vocabulary here. So when it comes to finances, the word principal refers to the starting amount in an account, or it could be the starting amount that you're going to borrow. Um, interest is always calculated as some sort of a percentage of the principal, either the amount that you are investing or the amount that you are borrowing. <clears throat> so starting with some real basic um, basic interest problems. If a friend borrows $250 from you and says, says that he or she will pay you back in three months with 3% one-time interest, then what you will get is 3% of $250. Make sure you write your 3% as a decimal. You're going to earn $7.50 extra from your friend whenever they pay you back. Um, if your parents agree to loan you $6,000 to buy a car um, and they say you need to pay us back in two years with 6% one-time interest, you will be paying them 6% of that $6,000. Again, write 6% as a decimal. You will pay them $360 in interest. By the way, if your parents will do that for you, take them up on that offer way cheaper than what a bank will charge you. So that whole idea of one-time interest, it's not very common um, unless it's borrowing money between like individuals, you and your parents, you and a friend, um, or if it's a really short-term loan. So this is not very common. If you're gonna use one-time interest, make sure those words appear in the problem that you're working. All right, bonds are a type of loan that you make to the bond issuer that could be a company, it could be an organization like a library, another nonprofit, could be the government as well, by you, and you are called the bond holder. And in return for that loan, the issuer, the company, the organization, or the government agrees to pay you interest, um, typically on an annual basis, and all bonds have a maturity date. And that means that it, as soon as that date arrives, the, the issuer, the government, the company or whatever pays you back the original amount of the bond and then you've already been paid that interest along the way. So let's take an example um, of how that would work. So a city is building a new library and they issue bonds to raise the money to build it. You get a $5,000 bond that pays 4.5% interest annually that matures in five years. So how much interest will you earn? Well, you will earn 4.5% of that $5,000 that you basically loaned them, and you're going to earn that five different times because the bond is going to mature in five years. That means you will earn a total of $1,125 in interest. <clears throat> so how much money will be paid to you overall during those five years? Well, it's going to be the interest Plus, they're going to repay the amount that you borrowed, or sorry, that they borrowed from you. So they're going to repay that principal. So it's going to be the eleven twenty-five plus the five thousand dollars repaid in principal, and overall, you're going to get six thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars.